Welcome to Anita's Joint, hashtag is in the joint, where every day is payday, baby, and you're tuned in to another football commentary with your girl, Needle Flying High. We got um, Orlando Pride versus Racing Louisville. Um, I'm going to be rooting for Racing today, as you know, Houston dropped some points, so they can get, uh, they could use uh, the Orlando dropping points as well. Um... I looked at the lineups. Let me make sure we're good. We good, we good, we good. good. Alright, cool, cool. I'm gonna be in the Discord as well. I'm gonna share my Discord with you all. If you're interested in coming through, you can. Alright, copy. Okay, okay, I got the discord in there. So I'm gonna be streaming the game there as well um, Yeah, so Orlando what the fuck What is this? I don't know how I ended up getting an extra peek at the... Oh, I see, I see, okay. What? We seen... What does it say? Marta? CC Kaiser? The fuck? It's, it's just a commercial. Yeah, so I'm going for racing. Of course, you know, CC Kaiser was stolen from us. Houston Dash during the expansion draft for racing. <clears throat> Don't forget that racing. I'm just saying. Don't forget that. But racing lines up with uh, damn, I might have to get my glasses off this because your girl can't sleep. Oh <laughs> I will have to get hella close to the mic just to be able to Alright Nadam, McCaskill, Balkum, Millet, Kaiser. Freya, Martin, Rael. I didn't get to read them all. And then Orlando. Same lineup from last last match. Marta, Taylor, LaRue. Oh, well, actually, Taylor's coming in, playing, starting. She came on at the second half versus Houston. She ended up scoring the equalizer. McLeod came in, I think, too, at half. Well, it's nice to see Miss Alex Morgan back. Um, I figured she'd be coming back because, I mean, the USA are going to be playing their game. At least two games, right? Uh, going to be playing two games. Uh, I'm like... Oh, I was wondering why that wasn't working. Oh shit, oh shit. They're showing commercials. Okay, okay. Alright, sweet, sweet. Uh, this game's on Twitch too. As well. For those overseas and are not able to watch the match. I think I can see them pretty well. Damn. I can't. <laughs> but this, the chat is small. Why is this like that? I should have never had clicked on. And it's weird too. Let me see. Let me just refresh. Okay, because. Yeah, I got it now. Gotcha. 
Yeah. And we got some things to talk about at halftime. <laughs> I've seen some some things on the, the I've seen some things on the end of so so we'll talk about it at halftime. Uh, and uh yeah, I got some things coming to y'all. Uh I'm gonna be working on some things after this game as well. Should be exciting. I mean, I, it's very for me. It's gonna be interesting to see what I what I can find. And um, with that, hopefully we get a good match. Uh, I think I think Orlando should lose this match. I had seen something, but uh, I, I I don't even know. Like I hope I hope I was right because. I hope I was right. I think I am, but we'll see. I think race. I think racing gonna be able to win this game. And um, someone says one racing Orlando nil. Oh jeez, people! <laughs> All right, y'all. The game's underway. Let's see how, oh shit, let's see how they perform today. Let's see how they perform. They're in um, Orlando, Florida as well. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to pull this up. Okay. I mean, I guess the player to watch for racing, um, CC Kaiser, and the player to watch for Orlando would be Taylor. You know, two up and coming players. Hopefully, we get to see them uh, in the future USA sides. Um, for both both players, both players, I think they they're pretty great. Um, and they showed last week they're able to score some goals. Looks like it might might have been raining in the Florida today. Uh, so I think in Florida near the water. That's all. Okay. If you want to get I'm the currency sh sh shirts, you can get it on my uh my what is it called? My Teesprings account. I got a lot of other things. Uh just remind yourself that you're the currency. I never you probably heard that. Your, your energy is your currency. That's how I'm starting to look at it. Well, that's how I have. Um, 
But Rue, she needs to score a goal. I think then if she scores a goal today, she'll tie uh, Bethany Balser with eight goals. And then we're still still waiting to see who gets 10 first. I'm still waiting. It'd be really great if all of the four, four uh, players that are in the hunt, I think it might be five, because I think Lynn Williams is creeping up. I think she has six goals. If at least five players can score 10 goals in the NWSL self season, that's pretty good for me. 24 games, 10 goals. I mean, it's, 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 I feel like it's good in the NWSL. So. And I feel like we're like at the, um, it's just the final stretch, really. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Like, yeah, this is like the last quarter. Um, because we were at 12 is the midpoint. Once you get past, you know, 24 divided by 4, 6, yeah. So, once the teams have six games left, it's the last quarter. And it's still up for grabs because, uh, at least I'm thinking the four and down slot. So there's four, five, six. There's like three still, there's three spots still open with the teams being so close. So first two teams get by. It looks like it might, I don't know how, um, the rain are creeping up there. They might get a bye, but I'm thinking it's going to be Orlando. I'm thinking it's going to be Portland and North Carolina first round buys, which is good. That means hopefully we'll see um, some good matchups. And we know that the championship game is going to be <laughs> in Portland like at nine in the morning. So I don't even know if you, I, I mean, I don't know if your girl will be up. <laughs> I probably will be, but I, nine in the morning in Portland? Like what, what is everybody gonna do? They gotta wake up like, what? Remember we talked about this last time. It was pretty funny. Like, I think um, a lot of the ladies uh, I've seen, of course, I think it was Fishlock, um, Krieger and Harris, they all, you know, said something about it. Because really, not a 9 a.m. championship match, it's different. I mean, I guess, no, it's not even different because it just doesn't make sense when you think about it. Like, what's going on in that field where your game's scheduled at 9, you know? In the morning. <laughs> But um, it's the matrix for you, Marta. Nice pass. Oh man, I forgot my wand. Ooh, almost. Lando's looking for that first goal. That was a good cross. I believe that was. Uh, they got LaRue playing on the whip and Taylor and Marta playing in the middle. I'm thinking. Okay, and that's good because I'm really happy because we haven't really seen uh, Balcom and worse. I guess Ebony, like, I don't know what happened. Like, they haven't. I would always be trying to start. Baku, Nadam, uh, Nadia, Nadia, Cece Kaiser, and Simon, all, and McCaskill. Those will be like my starters, like hands down. He'd be keeping um, some some peoples on the bench. I don't know. And then Beto's. Remember, this is still the Racing Louisville team that beat um, Bayern Munich. 
Now, I'll, I'll, I'll hold that over their head, so I feel like they can beat Orlando Pride. So. Let's make it happen. But, um, I think a couple, not last week, but the week before, a lot, you've seen a lot of the teams, they look tired. Uh, especially racing. Yeah, Marta. And never don't, don't sleep on Jody Taylor either. <laughs> she sends uh, she tends to get it done. Put my glasses on so I can see. Wow, it's just a whole new world. <laughs> Um, oh shit, fuck. Um, <laughs> you are funny. You are funny. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, son. Ooh, nice turn. Thanks for joining the live stream. Um, I'm not too sure if I told you before. Uh, you may not even have the accessibilities in the middle east and you probably don't have discord you probably don't have twitch i mean well actually you have twitch if you're able to tweet on twitch hmm very interesting hmm. well if you search nwsl on twitch um i don't know if i told you last time that's why that's the way you can watch the game <laughs> um and if not, your other bet is to join the Discord. And I put links in there to the games that I find. But you still may not even be able to watch the links. I don't know. Which, but uh, thanks for coming through, saying hello. I um oh wow she yelled at him too she yelled at him she yelled at him she ooh, I wonder what happened damn did she fall on her back or something ah yeah she hit the she hit her back pretty pretty hard it's like, um, you ever, I mean, I've fallen before and I'm a, ah, it hurts when you fall. I mean, it's a little easier if you're a little smaller and you take a fall.
Mm, this is not what uh, Orlando. It's not what we wanted. You know, remember, because we talked about it last stream, you know, it, it sucks when players get hurt. But the delay of games also sucks because the, it just halts the game. And uh, then we're going to be sitting here a little bit longer than expected. And they have to get back into the flow, into the rhythm of the match. And uh, sometimes it takes another 15 minutes, and by then it's 30 minutes. And then there's 15 minutes left in the half. And then that's if there's a smooth sailing. What is going on right now? It's so weird. Didn't they call, like, um, people out? Now we got people. See, this is chaotic. <laughs> Orlando, we're, we're, I guess they all, they have their, their staffs. Um, racing staff. I thought everybody got the, 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 yeah, so we're going to be here for a little bit. <clears throat> Orlando has a new manager. Oh, she's... I don't know what's going to happen. But City play Tottenham tomorrow. Excited for that. See the ladies again. Well, Madame's getting stretched off. She sat up, but she can't walk. So, speedy recovery to her. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Naksato is going to be coming in for Nadam. All right. It didn't take too long. Well, three minutes. Three to four minutes. And I realized uh, apparently the mods are the mods on NWSL are actual real people. <laughs> I think one of them, the one, the mod that's in, the mod that's in this chat today is a real person. They just have a interesting username. I guess all our usernames are interesting. Mine's a neatest joint, so. <laughs> All right, corner kick for racing. Oh, and they're gonna have to get it past Betos. Yeah. I'm surprised Emily Fox didn't get a call up for the national team. Maybe she did, and I, I haven't actually. I might have to go over this the roster. I probably, no, I don't need to. We already did. Or at the Olympics. Nah. All right, another can another corner for racing. McCaskill. This, I don't know. This is going to be, like, <laughs> the same as yesterday, as Mal Pugh took, like, nine or 11 corners for Chicago. We'll see. Oh. Racing still got it. Nice, nice. They got three or four players in the box. Ooh, nice strike for Betos. Ooh, nice save. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know how that was a goal. I bet Betos. <laughs> Yo, racing. Nice movement. That was good. That was really good. 
Beto's down. She made some saves. Good shot. And then... I was trying to see who was coming crashing in. It looked like that was Emily Fox's shot. I know we were just talking about her. I couldn't tell who was... I can't see who that... What her jersey number is. I'm thinking that was either Millet or Freya. I couldn't see the back of her jersey. Number two or number eight. But, um... Oh, and that's McLeod. My bad. I thought it was Beto's out there. Shit. She's on the opposite end. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. My bad. I even put the glasses on. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, that was out of bounds, but uh, Fox is speedy. Speedy, she's speedy, Emily Fox. She's gonna be. Oh, she... I think she's a cancer. Oh, she played for North Carolina as well? Yeah. Not surprised. She's really good. She's really good. She was she used to feature left back or right back for USA for sure. And based upon that shot, I mean she put her like in a in a midfield. But we'll see. What USA thinks about it. She's a cancer. safe oh there's no crowd noise they said there's no crowd noise ah people are chilling yo honestly every time i go to the football stadiums i fucking love nachos like nachos are like if you go to any football game you need to get nachos if they got pretzels get the pretzels the candy will always be there so don't go to the stadium and get can't get some nachos Get some pretzels. If they got lemonade, get some lemonade. All right. And get some water because lemonade will make your mouth dry. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not too sure what time it is over there in Florida. CC Kaiser making moves as a cam. Okay, I see you. Hey, damn, McLeod. All right, a lot of bodies are going everywhere. <laughs> Akasato getting involved. I'm thinking this is, um, who is she? Lauren Millet. Number, oh, she used to play for North Carolina as well. That's creating a lot of havoc. What is this shirt she has on? What she played for? Oh, she played for UCLA. Am I might, I was thinking too, 
There's a lot of uh, college soccer going on. I don't know, North Carolina plays tomorrow. I was trying to look for Texas. No, because we got to represent the Horns. Um, but I think a number three team, we're playing a number 10 team. And uh, I don't know. I guess I should look at, I should, I think I should start looking into, into them. Just a couple here and there games. Because, you know, these are the future draft picks for, and maybe a, a, a future Houston Dash player, right? So, I would like Houston, like, yo, Houston, did you see number such and such? Um, yeah, we need to make sure y'all get her in the draft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, the expansion draft should be pretty fun. I'm, I'm excited for that. I think it's like, I think they said in November, or don't quote me on that. I don't know when the fuck they said it. I don't remember. But it's soon. I mean, yeah, eventually. But like, we'll talk about it at halftime. Because there's just so much... <sighs> Sometimes I just... This is so much. Let me get back on the game. So... Someone said, anyone else catch the interview with McCaskill on the channel earlier this week? No, I didn't. I mean, she's a, a interesting player. Number seven, McCaskill. I think she's good. She's, um, she's a Leo. She's the son. So, uh, you know, she's... I bet she's an interesting player. Oh, so close. Side netting. Balcoon. That's all. I like. She's a good player too. I like. I like her as well. Oh, she's a Leo as well. Balcoon. Both McCaskill and. And uh, both McCaskill and Bakum are Leos. The sun. They're the sun. They shine bright. And just to remind yourself that we are all stars. Okay? It, I think I said that lots of times on my channel. Because some people still don't remember that they're stars. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully if you do come across my channel you'll remember that you're a star as well oh that ball went out of bounds Ooh, that was close. Silla Rue's cross that could have been an own goal. Uh oh. Marta to Jody Taylor. Ooh, Sid Rue. Come on, Sid. That's that should have been goal number eight. Should have been. Good little uh, over the top pass. She just should have been goal number eight for Sid. Damn, so close. Even though I'm not really going for Orlando. <laughs> should have been a goal.
I got some, um, so I've been studying, I've been studying a lot of my astrology, but, uh, I'm in a really good mood. Chill. You know what I'm saying? Not too, not so hyped up right now, <laughs> but I just want to thank everyone that is tuned in to you, girl. I appreciate you. You make me happy. You make me smile. Um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you. And for those that watch the replay, you're awesome. I know because my commentary is not always football related. But you still stick around. So I do appreciate y'all. Oh, snap. Uh oh, there's a goal. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, Sid, I see you. Oh, wow. Saved. What the fuck? Saved. It was saved. Said the rule again. Oh, ho, 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 wow. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Sid LaRue, hey, we called it. I, I mean, I called Sid LaRue's eighth goal. I didn't call them to win, but. <laughs> um, but she has, that's goal number eight. It says 150 Orlando Pride goals, so, something, 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 something. I uh, have that 150 is a number or something. No. But she got her rebound, and then she took on two more players. She was like, you know, I'm just going to slot it with my right. I'm going to beat Betos. She did. Nice goal. Individual solo goal. I believe Sid the Roo's a Taurus. I mean, we, we cannot forget how many goals Sid scored with USA. Like, they've won medals together. I mean, Sid has always been a threat. And she might, she might be not as pacey as she was after birth, but she's still legit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, she's a Taurus, so she's, a she's fixated, she's, she's really good, but Taurus is also beauty as well, um, very beautiful in the physical aspects, uh, most Taurus women are very, and, and men are very beautiful people, because they're ruled by Venus, Venus is very beautiful and other things <laughs> but um we know because I, I i tell y'all i love my taurus <laughs> women um um now pew is a taurus and rose lavelle is a taurus and uh we were talking about sid larue's taurus um doll camper for houston dash is taurus very beautiful women And there's probably other Tauruses. Fuck, you might be a Taurus for all I know. Watching. <laughs> all right, Orlando. Now, y'all can't win now, Orlando, because I need racing to get this dub. CC Kaiser putting on the skate. CC's good in that uh that's that camera. I like that. Man, man, she she would have been awesome still with Houston. I mean, she is awesome already, but fuck. She's a Leo as well. God damn. Yo. Racing has so many Leos on their team. Like three out of their four like main people are fuck are Leo. Sun sign. They got the sun lit up on their uh, lit up on their team. Oh, oh, oh snap. Oh, uh, uh oh, uh. Uh oh. I 
the Twitch chat's ahead of me, so I'm just gonna say, uh oh. Oh, oh snap. Jody Taylor to Sid LaRue. Sid LaRue. To, oh, to Marta? Oh. Nice goal. Damn, that was fast. Two goals for Orlando. Sid and Marta. Nice. Okay, I don't know. Racing, I think racing are not going to win this one. No, I, I think it's over. <laughs> I think it's over. Uh, but there's still a second half. But I think it's over. I don't know. Fucking A. My predictions were wrong. <laughs> my predictions were wrong. And who was that that fell? Jeez, girl. You gotta stay on your feet. Number 14. <sighs> Martin. Oh. She's 23. Wow. Well, Martin is still the legend. How many goals, Marta? 34. Oh, wait. Th no, not 34. Three this season from Marta. I mean, anybody can get a hat trick and pretty much catch up with the race anyway. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's had a hat trick this season in the NWSL, which is kind of, uh, there's got to be at least one player. You know what I'm saying? But get, that was an easy goal for Marta, I feel. So Orlando sitting pretty so far, 15 minutes, uh, with 10 minutes left in the half. Up to 2 no. Racing I, I has some good opportunities. Um, but they haven't put the ball in the back in the net yet. Just yet. We got this. You can see the smoke. Sure. What the fuck? Oh, oh, snap. Okay. We still good. All right, back at it, back at it. Okay. <laughs> it's a voice. <laughs> Orlando players are finding each other over the top. If uh, racing can get a goal in the um, before the half, that'd be great. Beto's clearance was not what she wanted. I'm very interested to see um, so we'll have so next season there will be 12 teams which is great if we make it there 
Hopefully, I think we'll make it there. We just have to get past the euros. Yeah, well, I think we'll, I think I'll be I think I'll be alive around then still. Yeah. Um. So apparently you can't hear any sound on the Twitch chat. Luckily, I don't listen to that stuff, so. Sorry if you came for the stats. Your girl doesn't have stats, but your girl has zodiac signs. <laughs> that's the only thing that's real. I mean, the stats are real too. I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? They're real. And I love me a goal scorer. So, I mean, you gotta love them. You gotta love them, especially in football. You gotta love those goal scorers. That's why I need all the ladies that do score a lot of goals. They need to create their own celebrations. So, you know, if they do get in FIFA, what your girl plays, they can have a signature celebration. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Them games gonna be wrong, you know. For a little while, we'll play it for a whole year, and then the next year, you know. Some of them don't, they're very nonchalant on the celebrations. As for the boys, oh lord, every time you see the boys celebrate, they're they go crazy. They got so many, <laughs> they're so animated, but we love them. <laughs> they're so animated, though. I think, um. I was trying to think of who celebration I, I like. I know Deli Ellie had a couple good celebration. I know that boy Gabriel. He had, he had the Hotline Bling celebration. The Hotline Bling. The Drake celebration. I think, um, oh yeah, Martial came. Not Martial. Um, and Mape. Yeah, he has that, um, they call it Little Brother here in, on FIFA. It's interesting. I guess they can't really name it what he named it, but that's what it's called. That's what it's named in FIFA. But yeah, the, uh, but I haven't even watched uh, the men's side in forever. Like I said last time, last time I think I told you last time, I watched the Champions League. That's probably I probably only will watch City during the Champions League. The men's side. Um, I don't know, because I didn't even watch City play. I think they played Arsenal. They played Leicester City today. Yeah, but I used to be, I used to watch the Premier League a lot. But I probably only watch them during Champions League. They were so close. Just to lose to fucking Chelsea. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm playing. I don't know, one nil goal. Oh, fucking A. I don't think it'll be a... I don't think it's going to be a... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know with Ronaldo coming over there, but with Messi, I think it's going to go to France. I think PSG. I think they're setting up... I believe they're setting it up for PSG. I was getting my ass with in FIFA on Twitch as well. Fucking PSG is stacked with, like, Good players, and you know, I'm I'm alright at FIFA, but I was getting my ass whooped with City. I'm just saying, but I think they're gonna. I think it's PSG's for the taking. Um, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, City can make it to the finals, but it's gonna be really difficult. 
And we know the ladies are already gone out, so fuck. That doesn't that doesn't help. Alright, we got 40, 43 minutes here. They're probably like three minutes of stoppage time due to the the Dom um injury. Nakasato, nice pressure. Let me see something real quick. Okay, so I need a joint. Oh, gonna get blocked. Bye bye. <laughs> ah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Man, don't you love people that are so low vibrational and have nothing else to do? Just wave at them like. Bye bye. <laughs> That's what you have to do to people that don't know what else to do with their lives. <laughs> bye bye. Um, just like that, and then boom, they're gone. They can't even do nothing. <laughs> so, so yeah. You know, we, we, you know, um, <laughs> that's what's so great about everything. And, you know, they think, <laughs> okay, we got three minutes to stop our time like I predicted. Hmm. Brilliant. Mm. Okay, two more minutes. they be making me laugh like y'all and remember i tell you because i can see the twitch chat i know what type of trolls come in and try to infiltrate which is hilarious and then i don't know if i told y'all about the show that i watch um what we do in the shadows it's like 300 year old well, it's like vampires that all live together in this house they're like been best friends forever and one of the episodes well, let me tell you, there's two vampires, there's three vampires, there's a married couple, and then there's a, like a warrior vampire, and it's all, it's a, it's a comedy show on FX, and then there's an energy vampire, uh, Colin, and he's fucking funny, but like, he's an energy vampire, and it's like, um, this, they have a new season, season three, um, but in one of the episodes, Colin, he met an actual troll. Like, someone was trolling him online, so he actually met up with the troll. And this fucking troll was, like, a real-life troll. Like, a big-ass, like, motherfucker, like, gray-looking-ass troll. Like, huge person, a huge troll. And, um, uh, like, a creature you would see in one of the, um, the movies. And so I was like, oh, it's a, it was hilarious, right? And so apparently what happened, Colin got him, like, so, like, energy vampire sucked. Uh, like, he, he vampirized all his energy. He ended up, like, talking to him so much. He stood out in the light in the daytime. And so the troll ended up turning to statue. 
and it evaporated and it was like it all destroyed when well, we got you know it died but it was pretty funny and uh colin was like got you but it's fucking hilarious you should check out that show it's on epics but um here we got orlando two points marta and larue got orlando ahead and racing are gonna have to do something so that's half time i'll be right back i'll be right back you can take a break you can leave you know chill i'll be right back though <laughs> Okay, got some seven up. I'm not advertising, but seven up. I had me some Sprite last week. I remember. I mean, I remember y'all with me. If y'all, if y'all with me, y'all know I have a sipping on the Sprite. But uh, we gonna be sipping on some seven eleven, seven eleven, seven eleven, seven up. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I saw. Um, I know you won't be able to see it on my uh, recording of the match. But, um, we'll be okay. If you don't uh, want to follow me on any of the social medias, it's okay. But if you ever do, it's up there in the right corner. Yeah, Anita's joined Twitch, YouTube, you can cash at me. And also my Venmo and PayPal are in the description if you want to support your girl's work. Um, Twitter. And my Instagram, if you want to see what else I'll be posting. If not, no worries. <clears throat> I, just, I just won't know if you're human or not. You know what I'm saying? If you're a real person. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got... Okay, What what is up with this? Okay, so... Tomorrow's game, Washington and Orain. I thought this was going to be a great match. It's postponed, or sorry, it's it's been forfeited by Washington. So we haven't seen Washington ever since they got new management, right? <clears throat> I don't understand why the game's... But I actually, I do. Okay, I actually do. Let me let me show you my uh, my website real quick. I gotta change the uh, the name of it. I gotta change the little zip code. Not the zip code. Do you know called the URL? URL. I gotta change it. But let me just show you some things and how things are scripted. You may know about Gematria. You may have followed me when I read the book. Oh, fuck. What's the book? Yeah, you may have followed me when I read the book. Number games. 9-11 to coronavirus by Zachary K. Hubbard. Right? 
you may have followed me when I read that book, and if you didn't, it's okay. But, of course, because I have read this book, I'm learning gematria. You know, when that's what happens when you start to, you know, that's what happens. When you read shit, you start to, your spirit starts to go on that path, right? So, number games. <laughs> so, what happened was... The, 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 let me show y'all, let me show y'all. Some people are like, I, I really, you should check out his work, Zachary K. Hubbard. His YouTube channel is Gematria Effect News 22 and Gematria Effect Sports. Every day he's just putting out this content of how these numbers are pretty much the media uses to pump fear to us, the masses, that can't that have been we've been manipulated that we have this this whole halftime is is spiritual <laughs> but we got some sports in it and i got some, okay anyways so you can check out my website right all right so washington spirit in the 86 ritual and there's actually a lot more numbers so we saw that the portland thorns and the washington spirit game was postponed remember and all because this guy has now thrown himself in the mix so Washington Spirit and Gematria. So if you know Gematria, it's pretty much the alphabetic order, A being one, B being two, C being three, and then in reverse, Z being one, or oh, X, Z, you know the fucking alphabet. I, I y'all know the alphabet, just sing it. But it being reverse, Z B one, I think it's X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y would be two, and then Z would be three. And then the numerology being one through nine, and then again repeating one through nine, and then the reverse of the numerology with Z being one, Y being two. So gematria is what uh, we would call it the shadow government, the cabal, the elite, the people that run the mainstream media, this is what they code their um, um, CNN, ABC, Fox News. This is what they code their um, their headlines in, Gematria. And I have, a, um, I have another one coming up for you that's going to tie into some things that I already kind of shared y'all with. But this is Washington Spirits, Gematria, 221-86-211-94. And because of the book that I read, um, the first number that was that had kind of stood out to me was the, uh, well, the 86. That's why I named it the 86 ritual. But when I started to do the Gematria, 221 and 211 and 94, they all came into the, came into the loop. But because the matches were... Um, COVID related, right? Because of this is the whole pandemic that's being put out here. And if you remember, 201 was the coronavirus simulation. So pretty much they simulated what would happen if a, a virus broke out and what they would do and measures they would take to maintain our safety as the people. And they want to make it universal. So we have a new world order, a new one, one, you know, like they say, United States of America, they want it like United States of the world, but under their agendas, right? When people do this, people get this, people don't speak, don't have critical thinking. We are dependent. We are quote unquote, still slaves. Um, and so this information that I learned in the book, I was able to apply it because, you know, I follow NWSL and I was like, well, how can I also help the viewers that I, I listen to, that I talk to, learn a little bit about your mantra. I'm still, I'm like a month fresh into a month fresh into the game. But anyways, the 86, all right. And 86 was something that stood out. Mr. Ben Olson. I don't know who he is. He's just another person in the matrix, but he's a um, person that got used. Robert Ben Olson. Okay. So he has the 86 connection with Washington spirit and he's the new club president. Yeah. So the new club president. Yeah. So then also what stood out, his full name had the two one, one, just like Washington, the reverse, the two one, one. And so if you go on Gematria, I can show you the link of how you can start doing your own calculations for the things that you're interested in. But also with the 86, you see Jesuits, is 86 right here okay Jesuits 
this they all fall the, under the same umbrella the cabal the shadow government and remember these are people that are playing roles in the matrix we live in a matrix a simulation of of things and we're, we're here to just experience our soul is here to experience and then we have elites we have people that we've given our power to that are here to divide and conquer us to make us always clash with each other so we can evolve to our highest conscious we can't keep evolving because they are always fighting each other based upon religion sex all bunch of fuck shit you know what i'm saying but there's actual evidence that can bring us together right that's what we have we're gonna eventually have to come together we are we are it's just gonna take some time because all the lies that we've been told right so you see ben olsen has the 86 his real name whatever you know same as washington spirit human sacrifice he's gonna be he's like a human sacrifice you know what i'm saying he's living um and so also 44 i looked at his name he's a four he's you know who also was 44 right now um laura harvey not laura harvey um the Chelsea manager, Emma Hayes. Emma Hayes is 44 right now. So, of course, everything they do, especially in sports, is a ritual. Everything they do in sports is a ritual. Everything is ritualistically planned out. Whoever wins the Super... Man, I, I read it in Zach's book. That how I read it in Zach's book. And he's, his, his work is credited for. His work is, is, is highlighted. It's shown. Because I was able to find it. And this was this news. When did I post this? I forgot. September 4th. Yeah, I posted this on 9-4. And you see how Washington Spirit has the 9-4? That's what they do. And so when you're able to see these things um, based upon the gematria, but you always got to question these headlines. You always got to be like, why are they telling us this? Why would they be feeding us this? Like, if you know that the government and the media have been lying to you and there's quote unquote fake news, why would you continue to believe, right? Because most of the people um, that watch the news have unfortunately been programmed like we were until we were like, oh, fuck, hold on, hold on. I don't believe in that shit no more. I'm, I'm starting to question shit. And so you're starting to understand the program we've been programmed so heavily since birth it's fucked up it's fucked up right and it's fucked up yeah you know they say the truth will piss you off but it'll set you free it'll piss you off but it'll set you free first right you know i don't i probably didn't say that right but it's it fucking pissed me off i was like so everything that y'all told me everything it's fucked up anyways so we got the 86 right and so we're going to talk about the 211 as well so jesus save your men is a, is a jesuit motto they have their mottos they have the things that they say because you know they're the fucking gods of whatever this fucking matrix whatever and so they have so many things that they like to say about themselves because they're so great and holy 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 and so the 211 oh shit the 211 and the 221 as you can see also are in washington spirit so I was like, what the fuck? So, you know, that was honestly the ritual, right? And so then I, I started going a little deeper. Order of the, Bar the Barbarian Illuminati is also 2-2-1, um, two, two, just like Washington Spirit. But what we start to remember, they love to code their Catholicism, um, whatever. Um, they it'll always tie back to them. The Jesuits, the Cabal, the, um, the, uh, the Jesuit Society, the Society of Jesus. Uh, they'll always tie back to them. So when you just learn the, the, the core numbers that they use, you'll find the numbers. But they use all the numbers, but they have specific ones. Like, so Ben Olsen was the, uh, the, the, the club president for DC United. They have the 35 and the 46, just like Catholic. And so, as you know, we're ruled under the Catholicism. We got a, um, you know, religion is very heavy. And Catholic will come up a lot during the Gematria studies, okay? 35 and the 46. But something that, like, ripped me out with Mr. Ben Olsen, and you can see how his birthday is five, is, is May 3rd, right? So in Gematria, and other countries, it's written three slash five. Here in America, it's written uh, five slash three, right? So it can be both. It's reverse, just like just like the gematria. I mean, just like um, the numerology is in the reverse, and the and the <laughs> the I'm sorry, the alphabetic order is in reverse, and in numeral and you know, fuck that. A is one, two is B, C is three, and then in reverse. And then just like the numerology, where Z is 1, A is 1, and reverse back forth. So we, his date of birth, May 3rd, can be written 5 slash 3, just like COVID, 
5 slash 3. So, but also flip it backwards, 3 slash 5, we get back to the connection of your DC United and Catholic. And also in Zach's book, he read about Washington DC is is the Jesuit, the cabal, the elite, whatever. It's, it's heavily influenced. It's heavily, heavily, they use so many rituals and spells on it. Okay, I'm making sure the game's back, back on. But it's heavily rituals and spells. So then I happened to um, read the article a little bit longer. So Meredith Paulson, I didn't even know who she was. She's the Portland owners. She, she a Portland Thorns owner. She has Gematria as well. 177 201. So we think event 201. The, you can look that up. It's on the internet. Okay. Event 201. And then she had the 177. Jesuit order 201. And then four. Because it said four players got COVID, right? So they had the 21 connection because all their rituals are time-based. Again, Jesuit is 21. Saturn is Saturn. Saturn is if is if you look at this Capricorn, and Saturn is pre, AKA Satan, um, um, is what controls our magic square. It's what is who has dominion over this matrix that we're in. Saturn, Satan. This is his. This is his. Everything that we are living out. This is his life. This is what he does. And he's going to test us. Saturn is here to test us. Saturn is to make sure we're disciplined. Saturn's here to limit and restrict us. And so we have to take the blessings with the curses. They come hand in hand with Saturn. It's a double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? So with me, of course, learning more about my astrology, of course, the numerology and the gematria behind it. Um, terror, like I said, the day, that day when we saw the article was nine was on September 4th. And tarot is 94, and also Roman Catholic Church is 94. And so, to tie that all up, again, 94, and this day, coronavirus, due to a mix of positive tests and close contact, Washington's match, Portland called off. And as you see, September 4th, 9 slash 4. So, I would advise you can check out my playlist that I did of the game. I mean, of the uh, the book that I read, Number of Games, and I put it on my YouTube. You can go through it um, and and sit down for you. You know, my reading isn't all great, but you know, your girl finished the books, three hundred sixty five page book, and um, I. Okay, we got the game back. The game's on. <laughs> okay, I got the game back. But it's a great. It's a great tool to be able to especially because I, I still want to do NW sub matches I still want to be able to you know commentate and do other things but there's heavy heavy rituals there's heavy heavy programming in these headlines so um I'll, y'all I'll be seeing I'll be giving one next coming up soon I'm not gonna tell you when but it's, it's coming but we have to remember all these athletes, especially in sports, they have certain rituals that are coded in into their lives. And so it's sometimes it's like, fuck, we don't know whoever will be the best players based upon this matrix because they weren't chosen, handpicked. Then again, our soul is to experience this. So we don't know what type of life they had, but we're still going to enjoy the people that we get that are presented to us, like, you know, I'm still going to fuck, fucking watch the great players that we still get, okay? That still is not going to, like, deter me from watching because I know it's entertainment. And we have to understand also in the entertainment industry, it's a beauty industry. Most of the time, you, I'm going to say, if you're not beautiful, you won't get camera time. But mainly, that's kind of it. If you're not really like, oh, my God, if you're not beautiful, you really won't get that much camera time. I'm just saying, okay? Because it's, a, it's, a, it's an industry to get your cash to splash. You know what I'm saying? But you're beautiful, okay? You just may you just may not end up in the fucking I mean you just may not end up like on the Victoria's Secret magazine like Megan Rapino, okay? I'm just saying. Shout out to Megan Rapino. <clears throat> but she got Gematria. She got some some Gematria on her name as well. A lot of the athletes got them. I've I'm doing research on them because this is what I'm into and I wanna bring out some 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 aspects that I see. And hopefully that encourages you to do some gematria on what you're interested in and see how it, it ties. Do your, do your own gematria. You know what I'm saying? How, how numbers, tie, what numbers match. That doesn't mean you're evil. Okay. What's in your heart? 
what's in your heart is always being t god knows your heart the creator knows your heart if you're evil fuck your evil if you're if you feel like you're you know not evil all right then you're not evil but you need to know the difference because we walk among both okay saturn rules us for fuck's sakes satan all right and satan has been programmed us since birth okay since we came fresh out the womb i know he fucking programmed me you know what i'm saying i was believing all this shit see i was still in high school when ebola happened i didn't really know anything and now we have coronavirus you know what i'm saying and all this was simulations these were all to test the people how are the people going to react all of us how are we going to react as you can see what this is what happens when good people do nothing and and to be sovereign is to know yourself and to know the lands of the law to know the lands of the the, the laws of the universe so based upon saturn being in aquarius we have to self-govern we have to self-teach ourselves reach one teach one the more we know about ourselves the better because we can only be living examples and of course we're just going to experience what what we're supposed to experience where you start off at is where you, where you where we started off at in the other in in the other um in our other incarnations this is where we came back on so when i was thinking about my life i'm like fuck fuck i just i didn't do some fucked up shit i'm just I'm like, I, when i think about my life i'm like you know what what did i do what, what was i what was i doing what was i gonna fly hard doing i was like oh my goodness but you know I'm, so that's why every day you need to make sure you're not being a troll because that's karma you're building up for your next life you know i'm just saying i'm just saying you may not be back in this body shape or form you may be in another you know form but that still don't mean shit this it's on your they call it your um your akashic records that shit written down they right remember i was telling y'all about i know fuck I, I know the game started let me get back in this game real quick but remember i was telling y'all about like i feel like i feel like it already exists like our akashic records right oh what's going on someone score Oh wow, someone scored, who is this? Oh, that girl Cece Kaiser. Nice. Okay, two, one, let's go. But yeah, you yeah, actually check that out. The Gematria, my website as well. It's gonna get better. It already is getting better, cause I'm getting better. But um, yeah, so the game's back on. Sorry, I, I, had it, I didn't have the game up on my end, so I didn't even know what was going on. But back on what I was saying about our Akashic Records. And then, I'll, and then I'll be done with it. Everything that we do, in any shape or form that we take, is written down. Okay? Everything that we do. Even the tiniest things that we think, it's the simple things, right? They say, even the tiniest shit, they're like, oh, damn. And it's for our tracking as well. We're going to look back like, what the fuck was I doing? What the fuck was I, why the fuck was I doing? You're going to be looking at yourself like, damn, I did this shit when I was in this body. But they say, they say, they, some people say what happens on earth stays on earth. I don't believe that shit. <laughs> I don't believe that shit. Uh -uh. I don't believe that shit. I feel like that shit carries with us because you know i feel like that that that's on our that's something we experience like you know especially if you i don't know you go through some traumatic shit in your next life you know i feel like that shit I know, that shit did not just stay on earth that shit's in you that you know what i'm saying like no nah, no nah, don't get the fuck out of here but that's just my 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 belief you don't gotta believe anything i say look i'm not telling you my my shit is I'm not telling you what to believe. I'm just saying, you know, you should always question the things that you're seeing. You know what I'm saying? And um, especially because I'm learning more about the things. But I was always kind of into the, um, how do you say it? The Greek, the Greek, um, the Greek, the Greek gods. When you think about it, these tournaments, the arenas, like the gladiators, these are like the, the when I see the ladies now, not only do I know it's Star Wars, but also these ladies, 
happen. It's like they're playing for the gods, for the gods' entertainment. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing them. They're like, oh, you know, they're playing their game, and they're like, okay, we're the best. We're the better team. But that's in the physical aspect, even though we know that we're stars. But this is something to peep game when it comes to the gods and goddesses that um, they all have intertwined. And something that um, someone told me uh, on a YouTube channel, Fernando, he was like, you may not believe it. You may not believe it. And you're denying yourself your own justice. That we are God. Oh my gosh. We are, we are God. But we're getting back to God. And, and that we are here to experience everything outside of being God. Limitations, restrictions. How will we ever know what a God feels like if, if we've, we never experience something else that's not of God? You know what I'm saying? That we live in, world, in, the, in the land of Satan. You know what I'm saying? And so... Um, you know, and how will we know to appreciate the things that we have if we, if we're, if we didn't experience something that we didn't have, you know what I'm saying? How will we, how will we appreciate it? So it is a test, you know what I'm saying? It, and the astrology is going to, it's really helping me kind of more understand what the fuck, where I left off and where I'm going based upon my path and based upon my experience. Like I said, everyone's path is different, but it is written and it is destined in your birth chart, in your zodiac chart. And if you start to study your zodiac chart, I'm gonna have to give me a professional astrologer to decode everything. I'm not a professional astrologer, okay? But there are fine people on YouTube that break it down, and it's long, it's lengthy, this shit deep. This shit deep, deep, this shit deep. Like, this shit like your fucking life. This shit your fucking life. There's nothing to play with, it's your fucking life. But, of course, astrology is not taught in school. They don't want you to know thyself. And then people will continue to think, oh, astrology is weird. You can't deny astrology now. You can't deny the stars. When people talk about Mercury retrograde, people talk about Neptune retrograde. We talk about the sun and the moon. You see the sun come up, you see the moon, you go to sleep. This shit is what they've been calculating. And now we have religion and all this extra shit that divides us. But we all know we have zodiac signs. You know what I'm saying? We all know we got zodiac signs. So, study this. Study yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's very important. It's important to know yourself. And it's going to be so great. You're going to be like, oh my God, thank you. I remember. Because that's what I'm doing. Oh shit. Like, this is, I'm like, I'm getting in my bag. I'm really like, oh yeah, this is me. This is what I was doing. Let me, let me continue to do this because it's making me so happy. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Do things that make you happy. I'm like, this this is making me happy. And um, you know, you be on your way. Because it's necessary. You shouldn't you should want to know about yourself and you should love yourself no matter what you find. Cause I've seen some shit. I'm like, oh shit there. Uh, some shit some of the shit will be like, oh fuck, really? I have to experience that. Oh shit, really? I gotta go through this. When you think about the shit that you go through and you've gone through and that you you will go through in your life, you're like, oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. It's real shit. But, um, you know, we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. We got some football here. You know what I'm saying? We got football. We got, we got good vibes. We got, um, whatever you're interested in, you know, I'm interested mainly in football and astrology and more cults more like what things behind the scenes that's just what i'm into you may not be too into the stuff that i'm into that's okay i'm into crystals and gems you know what i'm saying i'm the currency so whatever you're interested in is you you know what i'm saying shit we unique nobody's like you that's what's so great thank goodness i'd be mad i fucking woke up and be like damn there's someone exactly like me Fuck, that would piss me off. Even identical twins are not alike. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? This motherfucker like me. Like, what the fuck? They like, like, like me. Like, what the fuck? You're like a, car a carbon copy. Like, you're a, you're a clone. You got a lot of clones out here. Um, 
But yeah. So remember also, I, if you didn't watch my other video, I just there's people on the internet that have been a hip to this game, but way before me. This is who I'm learning from. So some of my knowledge is, you know, is is word of mouth. And it's not you're not getting all the essence of it, but I'm doing my best way to to tell you and to just tell you what I've what I've experienced and what I've I'm learning, right? But also through football because you know that's what y'all attracted that's what attracted you to me. Most most of my channel is full of football content, so that's what you attract. That's that's something you were attracted to. Um, but you can you it's, you need to have duality. You need to have the ugly and the good. It's not all rainbows. You know what I'm saying? It really isn't. Especially when I woke up. I started, I started, cause I started to like get to the devil, the details of like football and stuff like that. And it just seemed, it pissed me off. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? You telling me everything's scripted? Really? Really? I did the players know? That they may never win a championship, ever, but they just want to play the game. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm just saying. Like Crystal Dunn may never win a Player of the Year, even though she deserves one. She may never win it, just because the way she looks. And I don't like to get into all the the race stuff, but you know that's a heavy. And, and oh man, he was telling me about the race stuff. Is a spiritual thing. It's a it's a very deep spiritual thing. You know what I'm saying? The planets. Some of the planets are racist. You're like, what the fuck? The planets are racist. Not a, it's a spiritual thing. Something's been going on in the spiritual realm, and it's manifested as people that look like me were fucking a threat, or it's targeted. And, and, and I don't even like to like, oh, you know, like I don't even like to talk about that. But I was like, damn. But it's like, what? Like, what the fuck? And I'm not a fucking victim. I'm a champion. I'm victorious. I'm victorious, but all my life I've been taught I was a slave. All my life I've been taught that I was a slave. All my life I have been taught that I was a slave. That my ancestors were slaves, that their ancestors were slaves, they came on a boat here. Oh, such a fucking victim energy. All my life. All my life. And to experience that, it's like, what the fuck? That's some fucked up shit. And people are like, you know, you know, I'm saying Black Lives Matter. And I'm like, listen. Yes, we do. We matter. But what about everyone else? You need to remember something Zach said in his book. This is Zach. Something Zach said in his book. When one body of people suffer, we all suffer. And it's true. If white people suffer, everyone else suffers. If black people suffer, you're going to get the wrath of the black people. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not black. I'm not anything of this worldly world. You know what I'm saying? We're just experiencing it for a moment. Right? Because time doesn't exist outside this matrix, right? But, um, yeah, it ain't faint to heart. You got, you, you know, for people to sit and listen to some of this stuff I say, you know, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you because if not, if not me, then who, you know what I'm saying? And especially this really ain't for like. Of course it is for the people that are listening now, but for the future generations. People that come across your girl's channel. So whatever you're doing now, you're, 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 it's going to echo into eternity. So I'm not saying, I'm not saying go all out. You know what I'm saying? But just speak from your heart, you know? If you want to share something, share it. But remember... Oh shit, oh shit, hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Oh. <laughs> Let's see something. Okay, send the rule to Al. Ooh, black. Oh, cleared. Sid LaRue still has it. Alex Morgan. Ooh, nice finish from Alex. She's back. Yo, or I don't how many goals did Alex score during the Olympics? Nice goal. This is a typical finish, a left left goal, left footed finish from her. And we'll see if this is the last time. We'll, I don't know um if we'll see Alex in 2023. We'll see. I mean, I feel like now I feel like since they won bronze, I feel like they want to go. They want to give it one more go. I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Retire. Retire. But Alex had a statement. She was like, yeah, the, ne the next ladies. The oh. <laughs> Let me bring up this quote. What did she say? Because Alex was capping. I was like, get out of here, Alex. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Let me see. What did she say, Alex Morgan? Let me see. This, and remember, this is what the news headlines had put up for us to bite. Oh, yeah, it says uh, Alex Morgan. It says, oh, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. And we know she had her baby, Charlie. But it said right here. Alex Morgan, and this is insider, so what well, I don't an insider. USA US women's soccer team has really big shoes to fill. Real shit. But that's because they weren't going through the pipeline, right? And I don't know how they were trying to contrave that that article. Maybe I took it a little bit too much. You know, these articles be very persuasive. But um yeah, real shit. They got big shoes to fill. But I'm just saying it's partly because people like Alex Morgan that never want to retire. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> Carly Lloyd, never want, Megan Rapinoe, don't, you know, y'all don't want to retire? Goddamn. Like, what about the other girls? And then y'all turn on equal pay? <sighs> I'm just saying. And then we give Carly Lloyd a retirement. Um, I thought her retirement was the bronze medal. Like, like what? what is that? But, hey, 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 hey. I'm still gonna watch the games. I'm still gonna watch the games. I'm still gonna watch the play uh, Paraguay, a team that we ain't seen, and then South Korea. But it's stuff like that. I'm like, okay, big shoes to fill. So when we have big shoes to fill, y'all still being called up because y'all are in contracts. Okay, so y'all are in contracts because y'all don't pay to play. Y'all get a contract and y'all a salary. Cause that's what y'all decided when y'all, you know what I'm saying? When y'all went with, with behind closed doors, right? So like, you know, of course, the equal pay thing is another media agenda, especially in America. You're like, hold on, man. You know, ugh. there's a lot of, but remember it's political theater. These are, these are things to have us budding, budding heads with each other. You know, I, I come across so many videos of people of, of men and women saying women don't deserve equal pay. And I come across so many videos of men and women saying women deserve equal pay. And that we should, you know, and then we're always butting heads, right? Oh, shit. And then I think it was, was it Jim Carrey said something? He said if everyone was rich, they would understand, you would understand why money isn't everything. But everyone isn't rich, Jim Carrey. I mean, I'm not rich in the, well, I'm a rich spirit, but not everyone's rich. And when it comes to fuck having a roof over the head, there's so much homelessness that we see, you know what I'm saying? The streets of where I live, you know what I'm saying? People don't even have homes. People don't have clean water. And I'm just talking about in America. Think about the other countries that don't have what we got. Man, we fucked. We fucked. You know what I'm saying? But look. Shit, power to the people. We got it. We gonna be all right. But there are some things that are just, there's so much to take in when you start to awaken and you just start to ask questions and you start to just discover shit. And you're like, oh, fuck. Where, where am I? What do we live? Where do I live? What, what world is this? What What is this? Is this reality? It's, it's our own realities because we can create it. You know what I'm saying? We can create our own realities so we can live in our own worlds, which is so great. But then, uh, 
when your reality is not when you say is doesn't go with the mainstream narratives now you're now you're highlighted as crazy weird coincidence theorist conspiracy theorist left wing right wing there's so many things that they call us people that question people that have critical thinking people that think that you know and then they make the word woke derogatory they make it seem like <laughs> you're so woke they make even being woke like a give it a bad ring to it i just i just know that i'm a spiritual being spiritual and divine i'm not this material i've been bounded in material you know what i'm saying and i'm here to experience i'm gonna go forth and enjoy my experiences but that don't mean i don't know and that don't mean i can't talk about it people don't want you to talk about stuff like this why because because it makes you uncomfortable you don't have to listen and then when i get censored that's another thing when we get shadow banned that's another thing they can't go to everybody's houses and kill us <laughs> esoterically speak you know what I'm saying? We got code words for everything. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, you know, it, 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 but, um, you know, it's our time. It's the time now. It's time now. Especially if you're a part of my generation. I've been 1996 gang. We're going to burn this shit down. Real shit. It's, it's inevitable. It's in the stars. We're going to burn this shit down. <clears throat> We're going to, I'm going to, I'm helping you burn the shit down. Not I'm just thinking on the internet. I think there's some people that do some WNBA gematria. But you probably never come across like, what the fuck is gematria? What the fuck is numerology and fucking all? what is this number she's talking about? Huh? NWSL? What? What? Yeah, you wouldn't think that they have uh, scripted narratives here in NWSL, but there is. And remember, it's all a stage. So. I hope you're directing your movie. Because it's very important. You know what they had directed for me? Not this. <laughs> Not this. Not this. Not this. They didn't have they they had some other shit directed for me. Goodness gracious. And when um just think about your bloodline as well. Like what do you, what did your moms do? I, you come from a success do you come from a successful family you know what i'm saying because that helps it's like okay so like you i feel like there's yeah, there's pros and cons especially to some of the teeth like i saw you man there's so many things everything is deep everything has symbology everything is it's telling you something it's a lesson grab the lesson grab the fruit take it and apply it to your life like some of the tv shows that i watch because i'm very interested in how of course, Satan orchestrates his things. But we see on the TV shows, you know, people that come from wealthy status, they're fucked up. They're fucked up. They're fucked up. Especially all these movies of these freaking wealthy people trying to kill us off with vaccines. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Why, why is it always they want to eject us with something? I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? Well, why is it that? You know what I mean? And then, um... <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. But they're a part of the script. They're a part of the script. And here's the thing. If they know that they're a part of the script, and if they don't know they're a part of the script, of course they're gonna be get. They're gonna... Look, there's... I, some people don't have souls. Okay, some people don't have souls. That's true. Some people don't have souls. And some people don't have hearts. You ever meet somebody that didn't have a heart? 
you're like damn you just evil huh I'm like i'm just evil i'm like damn so you're evil evil we see them all on tv um but um but like um yeah some people are very evil and 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 you know and then some people were like were, were like me i was too nice i wasn't evil i was too nice too nice people take advantage of my niceness But you have to have equilibrium. But that's what I had to learn. I had to learn how to set boundaries because people were crossing the line. Because sometimes I didn't set boundaries. So that's something that's in my life that I've had to experience. People crossing my boundary lines and abusing me. Not abuse, like physical, but because I'm an air science, it's mind games. And that shit killed me. So I was thinking, I was like, fuck, was I mind fucking people in my other lives? Fuck. <laughs> It makes you think. I'm like, fuck. I, I was was Anita flying high, mind fucking people in her other lives. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Makes you makes you look in the mirror like, hmm. Damn, was I doing that shit? Uh, fucking a. Was I doing the shit that I'm complaining about right now? Shit. And when you're able to do that, and you're able to learn lessons, it's, it's gonna make yourself a, a lot less, it's gonna make yourself a little, take it easier on yourself, you know what I'm saying? Cause you just may be experiencing karma for shit you have did to another person in another lifetime, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people think they're fucking innocent. No bitch, you ain't innocent, motherfucker. You ain't innocent. I, nobody's innocent. We're not all innocent. You know what I'm saying? Some of us are. Children are innocent. Children are innocent. Sometimes, no, not all though. Sometimes they're demons like Chucky. <laughs> Come from demon parents. It's like the the demon baby didn't want to be born, but the demon parents had the demon baby. You know what I'm saying? This shit, it's deep, bro. Right? It's deep, and this is not even deep. This is surface level shit. I'm not even talking about. I don't know if this is deep to you. It could be deep to you, but. <sighs> It's life, right? It's life. It's stuff that we have been able to look outside and see. Like, God, you're evil. You're evil. Oh, fuck. You're evil. You know what I'm saying? You need to know. You need to be able to peep game. And look, they say new levels, new devils. And they really be out here. I be looking at the new devils that be trying to come into my life. I'm like, oh, hell no. I can see you from a mile away. You a demon. You a devil. You know what I'm You're trying to throw me off my path. You're trying to... The devil is always the art of confusion. So if it confuses you, fuck, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. No. Demons, archons, Satan. You can just call it Saturn. Satan. But we all got a Satan in us that needs to be bound. And that motherfucker don't need to be coming out. Alright? Just check yourself. Because the devil is only the other side of God. Some people, I seen something it said, I seen someone's comment, it said that, um, it said that, or Satan was a part of God that he rejected or she rejected. And I'm learning a lot of things about the creator, um, the creator, right? But, it could be aspects of self of ourselves that we rejected that we need to pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. Um, I can. Uh, I had a a cosmic tune up with the peace dealer and uh, shout out to the peace dealer. He um. Of course, he connected with me. Well, we he does a it was called a cosmic tune up, and uh, some things that he had channeled for me was I was the doubt ridder. So I am the doubt ridder. So I will rid your doubt, fam. I got you. Like if you ever feel doubtful, fuck. Think of what I need to fly high. Said she's the doubt ridder. Like I got you. Fuck that shit. You, you can do anything you want. And now if you if you can't do the thing, most of the time is rejection is God's protection. Okay, maybe that shit is just not for you. All right, you might have fucking got killed if you went on and did some shit like that. I'm just saying. But most of the things, uh, the door is open for you. All possibilities. You know what I'm saying? You may have a lot of. Re you need that resistance energy to be able, like. You need the resistance energy to be able to 
manifest you need people to come in and tell you, you can't do shit because it makes you mad and you're like i can do it like what the fuck's wrong with you like why are you telling me i can't dream kill us but you need that resistance energy because that's energy you can use and you can be the alchemist and be able to put it in different aspects of your life whatever you're attempting to attract to you whatever you're attempting to uh do in your life you know what i'm saying you got 24 hours in a day make sure you're using your time wisely that's what i'm starting to do i'm like oh fuck i got a lot of work to do i need to learn about myself even more so that's kind of what i've been doing and do some nwsl you know what i'm saying i know this half got all spiritual i mean and, I, and i'm okay with that i really you know it doesn't hurt my feelings <laughs> it makes me actually feel good you know what i'm saying and it, act, it gives me energy because you know i'm not like in the 3d you know what i'm saying Cause sometimes if i'm just into the game i'm like oh God, my energy is getting drained <laughs> but we gonna be all right we gonna be all right and remember we power the matrix we power the matrix we do but there's a lot more sheeple out there than us aware people people that are just that even question their reality and that's really all you have to do is question your reality question the things that you've been told there's a lot less of us than there are of people that don't even have that thought so if there's a lot more people like that that means i mean we're powering the matrix like a lot of but um that's why we gotta be like the Neos and Trinities and go into the Matrix, be like, yo, yo, what up? What up? What you doing? Like, oh, you, you like NWSO? Me too. I do too, but I'm I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm like I'm like Trinity. You know what I'm saying? Not like Trinity, but you know, I am a Trinity, someone that is aware of the Matrix. And actually the movie's coming out uh, in the twenty I think I seen like a little trailer to um the next movie that's coming out dude i was wrong on this on this game lando over here whooping racing 31 i was wrong jeez my predictions were wrong but um so much and and because i'm a gemini i'm a student so <laughs> i'm gonna continue to learn and have new information and a mutable air mutable air so you know i'm kind of a flow so i may talk about a lot of things i'm a gemini i have a lot of things in my mind yeah so i have an aqua moon so i just know you feel me i just know old soul here And you might be an old soul too. That's why you may be attracted to me. Like, not attracted to me, but you came, you know, <laughs> you came my way. You were like, oh, it gives me, you know, and plus I give healing vibes. I'm a healer, a natural healer. I think all women are, but also I'm a warrior. Got the lioness spirit, the lioness warrior, inner, warrior. When they think about, when they talk about the lionesses, in the jungle they're the ones hunting for the food the lionesses not the lions the lionesses powerful spirit animal the lionesses i i think i'm like well on air and on ground of course the lioness in the air an eagle and i feel like when it comes to me as a um water animal I mean, I feel like I would consider myself killer whale. Nah, I don't know. I don't know about my water animal yet. But um, also an owl. Owls have lots of wisdom. Spiders as well. All these animals that we see out, out here have 
were have symbolic essence to them like it's not the creator created them for a reason right they're not just here just for show just like what you think about they just created a fucking whale isn't the whale evolving as well or as we're evolving yeah people be thinking that we're all holy holy above the land and look what we've done to the land <laughs> We're not innocent. We're not in. It's like, like I said, when it comes to like a group project, fuck, we fucked up. Us being the whole world. Well, that's, but that's how they set it up. That's how the system set it up. That's how the um um. I'm gonna say one more thing. On Fernando's channel, he said. Us being spirit, that is the true essence of God. Us being bounded in this carbon material, he said this, that is the essence of Satanism. The, the, um, being bounded, being in this body, being in a fucking body of limitation. And then also on top of the, the matrix, because he said there's matrix and matrixes. There's matrix and matrixes and matrixes, right? But for spiritual beings, and we have a soul, a solo space, a soul. Let me make sure, make sure so not everybody has a soul, but. And then we're here being spiritual beings and we're in carbon matter. That he says, that's the essence of Satanism. Us being in form. That he says Satan, Saturn, is the god of form, formation. And that's us being here in this body. We made a pact, we made a contract with the creator. Oh yeah, we're going to go to earth. And learn some lessons. Oh shit. He says that he knows that he didn't want to come to earth. And I was like, fuck. I said, I, I already told you. I feel like I was like, yeah, I'll come to earth, God. Yeah, I have no problem. But he didn't tell me all this shit would happen. COVID-19, all this shit. Nigga, you didn't tell me this. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't even call you nigga, but I'm gonna say he didn't tell me that. He didn't tell me all this. Or she, God, the creator. They didn't tell me. That we would be going through all this, the great awakening, all this flunked out shit. They didn't tell me that shit. Did he tell you? Fucking A. Shit. I, I didn't know I was gonna, we were gonna go through all this stuff. Cause you know, I would've been like, oh, huh, 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 can, can I go somewhere else? Can, is there, can I go somewhere else? Yeah, I was like, I'm just saying, I would've, no, no, you're still going to earth. And then here we are, come out the mama's womb, and here you are, here we are, Nita Flying High. Well, I, I was Anita, uh, my Matrix name, but you know, it's Anita Flying High now. But you know, on my applications, I'm still Anita, my Matrix name. She also. But, uh, <laughs> you don't have to change your name. You can keep your name. But he also, remember, like, me, Anita Flying High, I will never exist again in this form. I'll be someone else. Okay? That's just so fucking awesome. So when you watch this replay, if you're in the future watching a needle flying high, I won't, I won't, that's not like I won't be here, but like my personality won't be here again. Like in a way, like uh, me as Anita won't exist anymore, which is interesting. Um, but um also incredible right so make sure you're leaving your footprints here but also remembering your footprints to leave your footprints here for people to look back on and especially if you have kids leave something for your children um to have a remembrance of you here on earth And I think that's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So that's why we appreciate the soccer players that are there. Well, for me, I love the goal scorers, but also other players, especially my Houston Dash team. 
Man City team. The players that we're gonna get, that I'm gonna get to know. Not like, but like, all right, hey, what up? You know what I'm saying? Hey, like I know you personally. I just see you play football, but um, get to experience uh, watching them develop and watching them grow as we get to grow. And eventually, I met some football players already, as you know. I feel like I will meet more as I continue my journey. I've taught some football players already. Hope I don't know if they'll be future stars, but I hope so. Uh, in my my short experience of teaching little children, you never know. Maybe what I said will be like, yeah, need to fly high. I wasn't need to fly there. I was, you know, coach. Uh, but she told me this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, you remember me? Oh shit, oh shit. Hey, so I'm like, yes. You know what I'm saying? But um. It's incredible. All right, y'all. We got nah. Okay, I guess I'm done. <laughs> I guess I'm done. So, um, all right, we got 90 minutes here. Let's go. But the game's been great. I mean, people have been, I've been looking sometime at the chat, but I haven't been kind of watching the game. Orlando's been winning. Um,. Three minutes to stop this time. Let me see something. Damn. It says racing had 12 shots compared to Orlando's six shots. Orlando was very accurate. Six shots out of the four shots on target, and they had three goals. It's really well. Really, really well. Very accurate. Very accurate. Um, I'm not religious at all, but I forgot what it said. Not what it said, but what, um, <laughs> remember, we don't fight flesh and blood, meaning you and me. If you're in the flesh, unless you're a demon. <laughs> and I, and I don't know. So I may appear as a demon to some people, but I'm not a demon. I'm just, I need a flying eye. There's not, a, there's a lot of names for um, the demons too. Satan, Saturn. I didn't know that. I mean, we have so many names that we call the enemy. It's fucking crazy. And the enemy is under... Uh, Jehovah is what Fernando calls him. Jehovah. Saturn. Archons. Demons. I usually just call them demons. But... Because I don't want to say Saturn's all evil, but, you know... Fuck. But, um... I'd rather just call you a demon. It's, it's a little... At least you know what you are. You know what I'm saying? We can be demons too. I can be a demon too, depending on what side of the bed I roll out on. Remember, we gotta bound the devil. We gotta bind the devil within us. Make sure that motherfucker doesn't come out. You know what I'm saying? And people will test your gangster. They want some people want to see you like ah, demon ish, devilish. So it test you. And motherfucker, for you to think that you can test me, you a demon. And I think that's like most of the trolls. They're like demons that need love. Or most of the time they're being used by a demon. And they don't know it. They're unconscious to it. And it's like, fuck, I hope you wake up soon. And realize that you're being controlled. Because nobody else sees anything but you. They don't see the demon that's like possessing you. They just see you. But on that note, Orlando have won 3 1. So goals from LaRue, Marta, and Morgan. And then one goal from CC Kaiser. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to another football commentary with your girl. I should say sports and spirituality football commentary. But it was, you already know, your girl was little. After halftime, you know, the game was kind of over. I'm just <laughs> But yeah. 
I hope y'all have a good one tomorrow. You can catch me. City play Tottenham. And there's a lot of other games that happen tomorrow. Um, but I hope y'all stay well, stay up. Check out the I'm the Currency merch. I know I didn't put any of my banners up, but I think everyone that did tune in for your girl and her ramblings and her teachings and her just my good vibes. But I'll catch you on the next one. I think City play like in the morning. So <laughs> I'll see that. <laughs> there was just. <laughs>